So there's the mail. I like to separate it by like postcards, letters, envelopes, and then packages, um, just to make it a little bit easier for us. But this is amazing. You guys are just like absolutely amazing. Amazing. This first postcard is from Jeanette and Davy, and it shows the Battle of Britain Memorial. And Jeanette and Davy say, here's another postcard from a local landmark. France is visible on a clear day from these cliffs. Wow, that's, that's really cool. They said they love our vlogs and they've been planning their trip to Florida in September and they wanna bring us some UK goodies. I'm gonna be really, really honest. We have so many UK goodies. I don't know that we need any Thing right now. I, I haven't even opened any of these other boxes, so I am sure that we will have a plethora of things, um, which is awesome. We love all the stuff, but please don't make an extra trip for us because we have, we, we just, we have so much. We have too much. So I really appreciate it, but we're, thank you, but we're good. We have so much candy, um, so much candy, so much, so much. We just have so much stuff. So don't worry about us, but thank you so much for the offer. That's really, really sweet. That is so awesome. You guys are gonna have a fantastic trip in September and hopefully we'll bump into you at one of the parks. And there's definitely tons of theme park alternative activities. It, just keep checking out our videos. We're kind of always doing something that's just a fun Florida activity. So hopefully you'll find some other ideas in the other vlogs. But thank you so much, Jeanette and Davey. That's so awesome. We really appreciate the postcard. Thank you so much. This one is from Jenna. Her her name is Jenna Bird on YouTube. She said that she just went to New Smyrna and she picked this up at Walmart because uh, she lives in Florida. We met her at Playlist Live. She said she can't wait to see us at Universal. And I th she thought this one was very funny from when I recorded the night sounds of Florida. And this is this really is what Florida looks like at night. My favorite part about this card was up at the top, they give like this huge description of like a, just a black card. They're like, Florida is the perfect vacation hotspot. Well known for its long, sandy white beaches, crystal clear tropical waters, endless warmth and sunshine, and some of the most beautiful sunrises and sunsets. Like, that's their description of this card. Come on, guys. <laughs> but you guys know what I'm talking about, that Florida sunrises and sunsets, right? Awesome, thank you for the postcard, Jenna. This one is again from Jenna, and she sends us another postcard from New Smyrna Beach. She says that this is a very typical find on Florida beaches, so if you guys are coming to Florida, just know you're gonna see these two sitting on the beach with you. She says it's so great to have so much in common and she actually hasn't been to Diagon Alley yet because her pass has been blocked out. What the heck, Universal? Uh, and she also says that she hasn't been to Trader Joe's yet because she's too nervous. Listen, I'm with you on that one. I'm too nervous to go to Trader Joe's too. Awesome, thank you again for the card, Jenna. This next one is a postagram and it's from Catherine. Look at our little pup. So cute. Oh, that's really funny. Okay, so New York's weather is just as crazy as Florida weather. Now we know. <laughs> Catherine says it would be amazing if she ran into us. Yes, that would be awesome. We love to meet you guys. That would be so cool. Her dog, Sweetie, says hello to Armani and Bandit. So, hello from Sweetie. Yeah? All right. She also says that we have helped her more than we know. She's got anxiety and watching the Disney and Universal videos helps her. And she says we're her fave and she can't wait to see Diagon Alley. And I, I totally understand that. I've got terrible anxiety issues. Just being around a lot of people, crowded places. Sometimes the places don't even have to be crowded. I think it's sometimes the noise level affects me. Sometimes the lighting will even affect me. It just depends. It's very strange. It's nothing that I can explain, so it sounds kind of crazy, but but I do understand um, what you're going through. And I hope that you have a really fun trip while you're here, and hopefully we run into you. Thank you so much for sending that awesome postagram, and say hi to Sweetie for us. This next one's from Hannah. Her name on Twitter is Hannah's Neverland, and I think I talked to you today, as a matter of fact, on Twitter. But this is a postcard of the studio where they filmed the Diagon Alley scene. So it's the Warner Brothers studio tour out in the UK and she just went to it and she hopes that we can visit it one day, which we really want to do after seeing Diagon Alley because this looks exactly like Universal's, except for Universal's is a little bit wider than this, but it's still, it's pretty neat. She's been watching us for about six months. Awesome, thank you, great to have you aboard. Oh, and she says that she's coming to Orlando in November. You're gonna love it here in November. It is awesome. Thank you very much, Hannah. This next postcard is from Katie, and this is really cool. I guess it basically tells you what the color of your eyes say about you. Um, unfortunately, my eye color is not on here, so I don't know what mine say about me, but I have hazel eyes, so they're sometimes kind of like greenish, sometimes kind of brownish. They're, they're just always kind of changing, but she found this really interesting, and I, I do as well. It basically says that 
If you've got gray eyes, you're sprightly. If you have blue eyes, you're loyal. Brown eyes, you're durable. Maroon eyes, you're friendly, but maroon is red, so I don't know if somebody with red eyes would look very friendly. Black is conquering, and green is changeable. So there you go. She found these at a store called Mamalicious. They sell vintage clothing and odds and ends. That sounds like a cool store. And she hopes that we like the cards, we, and we do. This is, this is really cool. She says, give Bean and Armani a pet from me. This is from Katie. Yeah. Thank you so much, Katie, for thinking of us and sending us this really awesome postcard. Thank you. This next one's from Katie, and the first thing she says is, excuse my handwriting, which, listen, by the way, guys, I can probably read everybody's handwriting because I have the worst handwriting. I write like a four-year-old child. She says that our videos always cheer her up after she has a rough day at class, which she's going to school in uh, Pennsylvania for clinical psychology. That sounds like an awesome major. Nice work. When she says she saw these two postcards, which the second postcard was the one that Jen already read to you guys about the eye color and stuff like that. She says that this is a phrenology brain map. This always interested her, even though there's no science behind it. She always thought it was funny, which I kind of like the part where the inspiring brain is back here in the back of your head, like back here. I think that's pretty neat. Awesome. Thank you very much, Katie. This next postcard is for Michael. This is such a pretty picture of Main Street. Man, I love that. And it says here that he's from the UK. He loves the videos. Started watching when he searched for Universal videos before he went to Orlando back in June. He's coming back next year as well. And he can't wait to ride the new Harry Potter ride. The new Harry Potter ride is awesome. I don't know which one you're talking about. If you're talking about Hogwarts Express or Gringotts, but they are both awesome. It's really cool to see how everything turned out because they were working on everything for such a long time and it was definitely worth the wait. So it says, keep up the good work guys. And thank you so much, Michael. I hope you have a great time when you come back to Orlando and hopefully we'll bump into you in the parks. This card's from Cameron and he says that he is from a small town of 800 people in Illinois. And this is from Free Port, Illinois, and it's, that's not actually his hometown, but he said that his hometown is so small they don't have postcards, so he got the next best thing. This waterfall is located in the heart of Crape Park in Freeport. The craziest thing that I was reading about this in the description of this waterfall is this is a man-made waterfall. It's pretty crazy. Awesome, thank you very much, Cameron. This first letter is from Allison. Allison is 12 and she lives in South Carolina. She found our channel by looking at Universal videos. Oh, she said she goes there a lot, that's awesome. She's gonna be going for Halloween Horror Nights, which is very exciting. It like can't come soon enough, you know? I'm, I'm I'm very, very excited for it. She said that she watches our videos every day because we're awesome. Well, I think that you are awesome for watching the videos every day. That's pretty sweet. And she loves Tim's mustache. She wants us to say hi to the doggies. Hi, Bean from Allison. I don't know where Armani is right now or I would totally be petting him too, but Bandit's just gonna get all the love. Oh, she also said she talked her sister into watching the vlogs too, which is amazing. Thank you for sharing our channel, that's great. She can't wait to go to Diagon Alley. She said that our videos are getting her so excited for her trip. She's going to Halloween Horror Nights for her first year going and she wants to see us. I'm sure that you will definitely bump into us. We're gonna be there like almost every night. So if you do see us, just come say hi. She also says, there's some extra stuff in here from Charleston. She's been watching the videos for about a month and she's a Harry Potter fan. Her friends call her a ride junkie because she'll go on any ride, but her favorite ride is the Hulk at Islands. That's my favorite ride too, so we have that in common. She also mailed us a picture of Eli, her pup. He's two years old and he has a hound mix and he's so cute. She also mailed us a ticket from the women's basketball versus Drexel, but that's so cool. College of Charleston. All right, now I know. Very cool. Thank you so much, Allison, for sending us this awesome letter and this picture of your puppy and the ticket. That's great. We really appreciate it. Thank you. This next letter is from Ryan, and I like how he starts it out. He says, Dear Tracker Family. So that's all of you guys, too. And he says, My name is Ryan, aka Digital Saturn, which I think I talked to you today on Twitter, too. He's 30. He's currently living in Salt Lake City, and he's super nerdy about a lot of things like Game of Thrones and Star Wars and Harry Potter, which, uh, in turn makes him really enthusiastic about theme parks. Found our channel looking for a construction update on the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Uh, and then he started watching a bunch of older vlogs and now he keeps up to date every day. That's awesome. Oh, because we're super awesome. Aw, oh, shucks. Thanks, Ryan. Recently he had a lot of changes where he has to move to Orlando, which hey, all right. He has to move here for work, but primarily for Disney Universal reasons. Feel you on that one. He's excited to become a transplant Floridian. And then he has a couple of questions for us that he's hoping we can answer about Orlando. Local beer, he's a huge beer nut. Local breweries, there's the Orlando Brewery. It's very nice. We played like giant Jenga there one time. 
Then they have this beer called Old Pelican. I really like it. And then Florida Brewery is the people that make the beer for Universal for Hogsmeade, Diagon Alley, and The Simpsons. They're all very good. All right, so if you're moving to any part of town out by Universal, there's a place out there called Gnarly Barley. Go eat there. All your prayers will be answered. Best beer, best food. It's delicious. Other than that, we're still working on our list of stuff out there. Toll roads. Uh, they don't have them out in the West. Are they easy to avoid in Orlando? Yes. We avoid all of the toll roads. We will only take a toll road if we're running really, really late. Other than that, it's pretty much just I-4. And then he ends his letter with, everything is awesome. Thanks, Ryan. You're awesome. So I got some postcards here from Bailey from Greenville, South Carolina. And this one says, hi, I'm Bailey from Greenville, South Carolina. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. My family and I are going to Universal in October, and they really hope that they get to see us. Thank you so much for the awesome videos. Thank you so much for sending this awesome postcard, which is a, a postcard of downtown Greenville, South Carolina. And there's another one here as well. So this one says, I found your videos by looking up Halloween Horror Nights and have been watching ever since. You have an epic mustache and cool sunglasses to match. Expect a bigger package from me in the future. Sign Bailey. Um, you guys don't have to send us anything. Like just these postcards are fantastic. And we also got a fun Mickey magnet. I think it's a magnet. Yeah. Yeah, it's a magnet. He's in his little snow outfit and everything. <laughs> so we'll put that right up on the fridge. Thank you so much, Bailey, for the postcards and the magnet. This letter is from Becky. This letter was amazing because it came in like a little Hogwarts envelope and then it's on like little Hogwarts letterhead and everything too. It's awesome. I guess she got this when she came down to Hogsmeade when it first opened back in 2010. That is awesome. And she also got to go to Disney, SeaWorld, and Discovery Cove. It sounds like an amazing trip. She's from a small town in England. She says, I always reply to her comments, which I try to do as best I can to everybody's. Like the, the next day after the videos, I try to respond to as many as I can when I'm on my train ride or right before I go to work. She says, the next time we're in the UK, we should go to the studio tour, which yeah, we're totally gonna do that. I wanna compare it to Diagon Alley here. I'd like to see the differences. Ooh, she's going to Amsterdam next month. That sounds like fun. Oh, and she's also planning a trip back to Orlando with her best friend. She says that she studied forensics that sounds awesome and she's hoping to go study medicine after that she has two cats she has a cat named Bella and a cat named Percy I really like Percy for the name of a cat she loves going to the parks in the US but her favorite in the UK is Legoland we have a Legoland here but I haven't been yet we need to go to that Legoland oh she says the last time that she went to Florida she was too scared to ride the Hulk and some of the other big rides but she's starting to get over that from watching our theme park channel and then she hopes to meet us one day thank you very much Becky and then she also says, sorry, I didn't have anything cool to send you. By the way, Becky, this is cool. This right here, this thing from Hogwarts, it was awesome. I felt like I was getting a letter from Hogwarts. Thank you very much, Becky. This next letter is from Ethan. Ethan says, I'm 12 years old and I'm a fan of Harry Potter, Doctor Who, Universal, and Disney. I and my family might go to Halloween Horror Nights 24. If we do, I hope that we meet at Halloween Horror Nights. We went to Universal and Disney in June. So close to soft opening. Oh no, that stinks that you were there just before. If we come, I'll be looking forward to Escape from Gringotts. Also, I can't wait for Mail Mondays. My favorite ride at Universal was Transformers, but Mummy was a close second. Oh no, I, oh no. He says, I rode Despicable Me and waited two hours. Not worth it. Oh, I like Despicable Me, but I don't know that I would wait two hours but I'm glad that you got to write it because at least now you know, you know? Simpsons was not my favorite. I don't know that Simpsons is anybody's favorite because it's so jerky. Also, I rode the water rides, amazing. Yes, the water rides are like one of my absolute favorite parts of the park. I love the water rides. Which one was your favorite? Hopefully I'll see you real soon and now it's time to pay the price. P.S. MGM Studios at Disney was amazing. Rock and Roller Coaster was my first looping coaster. Oh, and he rode it twice. And he rode Tower of Terror twice. So that is an awesome day at Disney. I love the Tower of Terror and I love Rock and Roller Coaster. And when we went the other day, those were the first rides that we rode because they're the best. Ethan also sent us a rock. The rock is from Louisiana. So that is so cool. I can't wait to put it in our rock garden. Thank you so much for the letter and the rock, Ethan. This letter is from Peter and he says, he would have never found our channel if it wasn't for me filming over the walls of London, trying to get updates on Diagon Alley. And he thought that we were really funny and we had good commentary. He's a Disney pass holder and he hopes to become a filmmaker. And he's been working on short films that will soon be on his new YouTube channel. And then he gave us two YouTube videos to watch. He says that he noticed that we had a Harry Potter addiction lately and that this video will change our lives for the better. So we're gonna watch that video and see what that's all about. He also sent us a Spider-Man magnet. And then he said down at the bottom, he says, I said I would and here it is, my hair. And he sent us a lock of his hair. 
and then he put throw away. So we're gonna go throw this hair away now. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peter. This next letter is from Summer, and Summer says she's 17 from a town in Northwest Florida. She lives five miles from the Alabama state line. That is awesome. She said, so I've grown up in the country. I think that's the best place to grow up, honestly. Um, she absolutely loves our videos. She watches them every day and she's always looking forward to the next one. She is a Disney annual pass holder and she comes down at least three times a year. And she actually works for a Disney blog. This is actually really cool. It is called tipsfromthedisneydiva.com. So you guys should go check it out. She writes about Disney attractions, dining and resorts, and she loves writing for the blog. And I think that if you have a job that you love, that's fantastic. That's like a super, I mean, that's a blessing, really. So I'm, I'm super happy that you like your job. That's amazing. She says she loves watching our videos when we go to Disney. And I'm so happy that we finally got annual passes because now we can go to Disney so much more. She said our videos can make one of her bad days a thousand times better which is so nice, like, that's so nice to say. Sometimes that can be tough for her. Um, she's found her way of coping, and she's learned that listening to music and drawing is her way to leave her problems in the outside world, and that watching our videos makes her day better. She said she would love to meet us at Disney, and she'll be at Disney with her mom and her niece um, soon, and she would love to see us there. We're there a lot, and we may actually be there when you're there, so just kind of keep an eye on our Twitter and stuff. And she also sent us a picture that she drew, so I'm so excited to see this. Look at this awesome picture of Stitch! And there's another one. So this one is actually a blue Stitch. That's a really great job. Thank you so much, Summer. Those are really awesome drawings that you did. She said, never stop making videos, and if you would like to see her articles, you can go to the website, tipsfromthedisneydiva.com, and look for her articles there. She said, thanks for always posting videos and making a bad day good. With love, Summer. Thank you so much, Summer. I really appreciate the letter. This one's from Daniel and at the Rhode Island Bigfoot Society. And here's their emblem, I think. And it says, greetings from us here at the Rhode Island Bigfoot Society. P.S. There is a Bigfoot in Rhode Island. Uh, he found our channel from looking up the Florida Skunk Ape. And then he tries to watch as much as possible. They plan on filming an expedition to Florida to try to find the Skunk Ape. They recently may have filmed a Bigfoot in Rhode Island. And they're going to send us a still. That's awesome. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash ribs324, ribs, Rhode Island Bigfoot Society. And then he says, thanks for sharing and squatch on. Awesome, thank you very much, Daniel. The next letter we got is from Craig. And Craig just basically wanted to say thank you for the videos. And Craig, we really appreciate you sending this letter. Thank you so much for saying thank you. <laughs> there was one thing that he said that I am gonna share. He said that his favorite moment is when Tim screams out in the park, I'm a wizard. And that's one of my favorite things that Tim does as well. So I'm glad that you find humor in that because most of the people around us just find it annoying. But <laughs> I think it's so funny. Thank you so much for sending this letter and we really appreciate it. Thank you. This letter is from Bryony and she said, how do you start out a letter to someone I watch every day and feel like I know them and yet they know nothing about me? A bit difficult, but I'll just start with it. So she goes off to tell that she went to America in 2011 and she went to everything. She went to SeaWorld and Disney and Busch Gardens and she finally ended up at Halloween Horror Nights and all of her friends went in, but she's like, no, I can't do it. So she stayed out and went to the Hard Rock Cafe and all of her friends came back and they're like, oh, you should've gone, you should've gone, it was awesome, you should've gone. And so she started watching videos on YouTube of Halloween Horror Nights. And so she found our Halloween Horror Nights videos. She lives in the UK and it says here that she has a street in her hometown that is believed to be the narrowest street in the world because it has a width of 25 inches increasing to 45 inches. Whoa. When does that change from being a sidewalk to being a street? Like what makes that a street? I don't know, because 25 inches is like two feet. That's like this big. Wow. Yeah, it's not very big at all. Earlier in the year, she spent two weeks in America. She started off in Las Vegas, then she took a cruise to Santa Barbara, San Francisco, where she met one of the last living convicts of Alcatraz, which is amazing. She went to Catalina and then Mexico, where she got bitten by a jaguar, and she has a photo to prove it. I'd like to see that. She says that she's obsessed with Walmart. She goes to at least one music festival a year and it's generally Download Festival. Download Festival has headliners like Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden, ACDC, Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith. And she's got to see all of them, although it was the new Guns N' Roses, which isn't as like as awesome as the old one. She like camps out for five days there. That sounds really fun. She says that she has a, a, a Charmander onesie that she's going to wear there this year. Uh, she says she's very single right now. I feel like we're doing like a dating connection. Like, 
She hopes to find somebody that makes her smile as much as I make you smile, Jen. Yeah. That's, her YouTube channel is Lost in Blonde Land, and she says to watch her America 2011 mashup, but she also says to watch her, I think it's Ni Hao, China video. That's awesome that you went to China. Her Instagram and Twitter name is Sunny by Night. Back in April, she had a bored moment and she went on a t-shirt design website. She made t-shirts for us. Let's see. Look at that. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Look at those sunglasses too. <laughs> that's so cool. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, look, it's my Your mustache. Your mustache. Yeah. That's so cool. She says that she's very glad that we decided to share our lives with complete strangers and she can only hope that this little letter can let us into her world a little. And then she hopes to bump into us one day when she gets into Florida again. Awesome. Thank you so much. This first envelope is from Beth. Beth is from Lancashire. UK. She's 19 and she's been to Florida six times. That's a lot of Florida trips. Uh, she watches our YouTube channel all the time and she loves it. She also says that she just finished her third year at college and she's going to university in September. So I think I'm confused because I thought university was college. Is university when you're getting your master's degree? I'm confused. It says this year her friends went to university and she was fairly on her own at college with people she didn't know. And when she was feeling down, she just went on YouTube and went right to our channel and that cheered her right up. She said, you made my year manageable. That's so nice. I'm just gonna cry this whole video, just so you guys know. <laughs> she watched our vlogs when she was searching for Universal videos before she came to Florida. And now she loves watching all the videos. She says that we're both um, amazing people and we seem perfect for each other. And it's great to watch our videos because we seem to bounce off each other and have a great time. And I definitely, I definitely have an awesome time with Tim. I think it's hard not to have an awesome time with Tim because he's just so awesome. I don't know any other way to explain it. But um, so she's coming to Florida in September. She thought she saw us last year in September at Universal, but she was too shy to come over and say hello. Oh, if you ever see us, anybody, if any of you guys ever see us, just come up to us. Oh, she says she'll definitely say hi if she sees us this time. She sent us a fridge magnet from the town that she lives in. And the crazy thing about these places in the UK is that they look like not real places. It looks like a movie set to me. It looks awesome. And she said that she also sent a postcard of the scenes around the Ribble Valley. So check that out. Thank you so much, Beth. That's really cool. We really appreciate the letter, the postcard, and the magnet. That's awesome. I'm going to put that magnet on the fridge right now. This one's from Annette, David, and Becky. And they said that Becky wrote us a few weeks ago, and she was so delighted that we read her letter and then we put the magnet on the refrigerator. They found us for looking at Disney and Universal. They hope that we enjoy the chocolate, which by the way, we've had galaxy bars sent to us before, but never before have we had galaxy cookie crumble, that which sounds good. amazing. Yeah. And here's one of the marvelous creations, cola pretzel honeycomb. Whoa. And that sounds amazing as well. Yeah. They sent us a few more postcards of Liverpool. So this is the liver building. What What's in there? It doesn't say, it oh. just says the liver building. Okay. <laughs> this one is the Walker Art Gallery. I can tell you what's in that one. Art. It's art. This is the Mercy Fairy and Angelican Cathedral. Ooh, it's so pretty. Also, they sent us some Despicable Me gummy candies. Yum. Which oh, look awesome. Who's the purple guy? That's We haven't watched Despicable Me 2 oh. yet, and so we haven't met the purple guy yet. Gotcha. And then Becky made us some moon bracelets, and they said that the orange one and the blue one are supposed to be scented and they kind of smell like Pez. This one smells kind of orangey. What does this one smell like? Maybe like blueberries? They look forward to maybe bumping into us at Universal or Islands of Adventure at Disney in 2015. All right. Yeah, orange is orange and blue is blueberries. There oh, you go. I was right. Yeah, you were right. Awesome. Excellent work. Oh, and then they also sent us this little mini scarf that says Liverpool and we're supposed to hang it in the back window of our car. Cool, that's awesome. Thank you very much, Annette, David, and Becky. The next envelope comes with a postcard from the South End Pier, which is the longest pleasure pier in the world. All right, it looks very pleasurable. What the heck is a pleasure pier though, seriously? But it says, firstly, we think your vlogs are great. We love Orlando and especially the theme parks. He says, we are Tim and Nicola. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right. They've been married for nearly two years. They live in a seaside town called South End, which is in Essex. I know all about Essex. I love Towie. And I know that a lot of people that live in Essex don't love Towie, but I do. Here's a question for you guys. I know that you're asking us questions in this, but do you guys ever go to the stores? Like, do you go to Chloe's store? Or do you go to Charlie's Deli? Or have you ever been to Joey's store? Like, 
what I just I want to know I'm totally interested in that oh in total they've been to Orlando three times they're coming over again in October for Halloween Horror Nights and Mickey's Not So Scary they're also gonna go see the Tampa Bay Bucks play the Ravens they're taking their two friends Joe and Ben who are also married that's so nice that's really cool it'll be their first time they're gonna have an awesome time the weather will be a little bit cooler which will be nice they both work in London and they have stressful jobs so coming to places like Orlando makes working in the city worthwhile they often find themselves booking their next trip as soon as they get back and they said we know you like to collect rocks but here we have sent you rocks you can eat stick of rock that's awesome thank you so much Tim and Nicola for the awesome postcard and the stick of rock this one is from we we're not sure because it didn't have a letter or anything in it but it's all kinds of fun stuff from the Glasgow Commonwealth Games and this is Clyde the official mascot of the Commonwealth Games the 20th Commonwealth Games he's got cool hair and I like it and then they also sent us a bag from the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow and Scottish fudge. Oh. A Scottish tablet, which I don't know what a Scottish tablet is. And then the original macaroon. This looks delicious. Thank you very much. This next envelope is from Ebony and she is from Beaumont, Texas. She's been watching our vlogs for about three months. And she said, thanks to our vlog, she gets a different view of one of her favorite cities. She lived here in Orlando during the summer of 2006 because she was a part of the Disney College program. Oh, she's gonna come visit again next year. She can't get enough of Disney and Universal. And I totally get that because I also can't get enough of Disney and Universal. I love it. She came across one of our vlogs while she was searching for this year's Star Wars weekends. And it was the video where we were looking for a Duffy for Aubrey. And she said that she's been a subscriber ever since. Even though she loves the theme park vlogs, she also likes the simple vlogs as well. She says she truly admires how open we are because it's hard to find such good friendly people who are brave enough to share a piece of their lives with complete strangers. I don't really think of you guys as complete strangers, especially now since we have the P.O. box because I feel like we know so much about you guys. I think that's probably the coolest part about having the P.O. box. It's not like getting all the candy and all the stuff. I think it's really just getting to know who you guys are. Oh, and then she says um, that she wants to tell us a little bit about herself. She's a third year substitute teacher and she's working on becoming an elementary music teacher. She also plays the double electric bass. What does that mean? Like two the bull fiddle. strings? Double bass is like the big, big upright bass. That's just a double bass. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, she says, since you share so much about Orlando, I want to share some stuff about my hometown. So this is just a ton of really cool pamphlets and flyers about Beaumont. Stuff about dining. It's got stuff about different museums, like the Fire Museum, Museum of the Gulf Coast. There's all kinds of really awesome stuff. So if we ever go, we'll have any anything and everything that we need to plan our trip. So this is really cool. Thank you so much, Ebony. This is great. Thank you. Wow, this is awesome. Hello, trackers. <laughs> he I just did everything as awesome. Kenneth, your room is awesome. Detroit Tigers t-shirts in the first mail vlog. The Tigers have been on a little bit of a run. In honor of that, I would like to make you two honorary Detroit Tiger fans. Yeah. That's right. So go ahead, open up the little envelope I sent oh, you. Oh, let's open it. Wait, pause it, pause right. it. <laughs> oh, he didn't tell me. Wait. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Says, thanks again, guys. I love the vlogs. Keep it up and enjoy the game. You two are the best. Go Tigers. And it is two tickets to a Rays game. That's awesome. So I, I guess they're playing the Tigers then, but I haven't watched the rest of the video, so I don't Let's know. Let's see. He's paused like this. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Tigers ticket versus Tampa Bay. Yay! Woo! Yeah! Everything is awesome. From Orlando, it's only an hour and 40 minutes, so not too bad, leave <laughs> early. But I want you two to represent the D, represent the Tigers, and make us proud. So have fun, you two. Cheer on the Tigers, or cheer on Tampa, whatever you want to do. <laughs> so have fun. So thanks a lot, and keep the videos coming. That was awesome, <laughs> Kenneth. You did such a good job on that video. You really should, you should vlog. Thank you so much for the Detroit tickets, and I'm going to totally wear my Detroit shirt. Me too! And Jen's gonna wear hers. Thank you so much, Kenneth. This is like so awesome. Thank you. This letter is from Louise. She is from London, and she's the one that sent us the postcard of London at night. Last time she was in Florida was in the year 2000. Her favorite parks are Universal and Islands of Adventure. Most of all, she loves Halloween Horror Nights, and she actually saw Kiss perform at one of them, which was totes amazeballs. She says, now for the package. She has sent a few bits from the football team she supports. They're called the Tottenham's Hotspur. 
and they play in the Premier League, which is big over there. First thing is that she sent us a postcard of the stadium. This is a pretty cool postcard because it's like a panoramic shot. Uh, she says that they're gonna be tearing down that stadium soon and getting a bigger and better one. A magnet of the Spurs. We're gonna put this up on the refrigerator as soon as we're done. And a chocolate football team, which she hopes doesn't melt. They totally didn't melt at all. Look at these little footballers. And then she says, love, peace, and hair grease. And she oh, says, that's her motto. Nice. And then she also sent us over some marvelous creations, which Jen really loves these. This first one is Cookie Nut Crunch, which looks amazing. And then the one that Jen was super excited about was Jelly Popping Candy Shells. Awesome, thank you, Louise. This letter is from Miranda. Miranda is 21 years old and her birthday is next month. So happy birthday, Miranda. She lives in California in a pretty small town. She says people only stop here if they're visiting family or on their way to Vegas. Oh, she said it's such a small town they don't even have postcards. She goes to the local college and she is getting her associate's degree in psychology and then she plans on transferring to USC. We're the first vlog that she has ever watched. That's like a pretty cool thing. Pretty neat. Yeah, um, one of our Disney videos came up in her recommended videos and she said she's been watching ever since, but she said it was good timing because last November she broke her ankle the week before Thanksgiving. Watching our videos helped her pass the time. She says, I truly enjoy your videos. They make me smile. You guys are always so positive and we need more of that in our world. Oh, thank you so much, Miranda. That's really sweet. She wanted to know if we'd ever gone to the Clearwater Marine Aquarium that has Winter the Dolphin. We haven't, but we were talking about it the other day that we need to go there. Also, have we ever gone swimming with the manatees? And I haven't, but you have, right? A fun story, I had a manatee fart on me. Wait, not for this vlog, but I'll tell it in, at another vlog. I don't even understand. That's the whole story. A manatee farted on you. That's the whole story. A manatee farted on me. <laughs> What's the rest of the story? <laughs> What? One time I went and had burritos with this manatee and it was real gassy afterwards and then he farted on me. Is that no, what it was? No, I mean there was a lot more to it. I'm not gonna tell it right now, but it was magical. What? <laughs> okay. You wait for that magic. <laughs> she said those are some things that she wants to do if she gets to go to Florida. She said she can't wait to see what we are going to do next. Thanks again for sharing and say hi to the pups. Hello pups from Miranda. She sent us a really fun magnet gonna go on the fridge. I love California. She also sent us a postcard from City Walk at their Universal and it says here's a part of our City Walk out here. We also have a hidden Mickey in our Jurassic Park. Catnap California. She said I thought this was cute and it looks like her brother's cat. It's a very cute cat. And then this one is in high from Inland Empire. So it just has all of these cities. We're so small that we didn't have oh that we didn't even make the postcard. Ontario is the closest to her. So there you go. Thank you so much, Miranda, for all the awesome postcards. And oh, and again, have a happy birthday. We got another package from Natalie and Chris. It says, hi, Tim and Jen. Just a little package from England again. We have loved all of your Diagon Alley vlogs. Gringotts looks amazing, and we can't wait until our next visit. We're counting down the days. We've had a bit of a tough time recently, but your vlogs have cheered us up no end. The new season of the English Premier League starts in three weeks' time, so we may send some baggy stuff over next time. And now it's time to pay the price. Best wishes, Natalie and Chris. What's happening with the Marvel Land and Toon Lagoon? Nothing's happening with the Marvel Land because Universal has a contract until I think like 2030 or 2050 or something with Disney. So they're just gonna keep paying them. As far as Toon Lagoon goes, we don't think anything is happening as of right now. Although there was some talk a few weeks ago of some of the team members with like tape measures and like managers out there like measuring things and taking pictures of things and Stuff like that, but as of right now, that's not getting rebranded. Re the thought was that uh, Fievel's Playland is gonna get rebranded into something. We don't know what yet. So here is the mustache for your bike that she was talking about. This is so cool. We're actually going on vacation in a couple of days and we're gonna be bringing our bikes. So you better believe that the mustache is coming with us because that is awesome. I think this is adorable. It says, guess who this reminded us of? But how cute is that? I love how like retro and vintage it looks. And then this is fun, banoffee pie. If you love banoffee pie, what's banoffee pie? Is it like bananas and coffee? I don't know, is this coffee? No, toffee. Oh. Oh, cool. 
okay, awesome. Then you also sent over some soap and it is Sweet Seduction and it says resist the urge to eat it. So I'll have to resist the urge because it does smell very good. This is also awesome. Thank you so much, Natalie and Chris. The next package is from Rachel. She's a journalism student from a city on the east coast of England called Kingston upon Hull, or Hull for short, which has recently been crowned the UK's city of culture for 2017. She's been subscribed to our channel for about 10 months and she found the channel when she had just moved to university and was finding it hard with homesickness and missing family and friends back home. And our vlogs put a smile on her face. That's so nice. Oh, plus it fueled her Florida addiction. She got to see snippets of her favorite places to visit, not to mention the amazing sunsets. They visited Florida seven or eight times and that Florida is like a second home to her. But it says, I'm flying out to Orlando again with my family in September. She's gonna go to Halloween Horror Nights. Oh, if she can convince her parents to come. She says it's too scary to go alone. And I don't know that I would go by myself. I think that I would be too scared to go by myself. So I definitely understand that. She says they're not doing Disney this year, which makes her a little bit sad, but they are gonna visit the Kennedy Space Center and also taking a day trip to the beach. Uh, I can't remember the last time I went to the Kennedy Space Center. I think it was for a field trip, uh, probably in middle school, but it's definitely a cool place to go. It's no Disney, but it's a cool place to go for sure. And it says here, oh, in this package, there are a couple of whole postcards. So here is the Queen's Gardens. And then here's another one. This is beautiful. This is like really pretty. She sent over some galaxy chocolate. Yum, I love galaxy chocolate. That sounds pretty fun. I, I will definitely be trying that. Dairy milk Oreo, which sounds delicious. And then some treats for the dog. So yay. Thank you so much. They're gonna love that. And says, thank you for taking the time to read this letter and I hope you enjoy the chocolate. Thank you for taking time to mail this letter and write this letter. That's amazing. Thank you so much for, for all of this. This is great. All right, this next one is from Angela, but we're more familiar with her screen name, Gorewood Queen. She's been watching us since 2011 when she was searching for Halloween Horror Nights videos. She's been going to Halloween Horror Nights since 2004. We actually met them last year at the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights inside the Krusty Burger. We met her and her daughter, Megan. It was really nice meeting you guys that night. She's lived in Jacksonville since 1998, but she was born in a small town in Kentucky. A couple of weeks ago, she took her daughters to Kentucky for a week. And while they were there, they went to Mammoth Cave National Park. She remembers Tim talking in a past vlog about wanting to visit a cave. So I got a couple of postcards. Mammoth Cave National Park postcard. Oh, so that's cool. It's supposed to look like a starry night because the dark sky is a layer of sooty gypsum crust. The stars were where the dark gypsum flaked off, revealing white gypsum limes or limestone underneath. So it looks like a starry sky in there. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. I bet you guys had a really good time. She also got us a fridge magnet of the stalactites or stalagma. Which ones are on the top? Tights top. Oh, oh, that's a good way to remember it. Okay, cool. So the stalactites, her youngest daughter, who's six, picked a lucky bat for us. Look how cool this is. <laughs> this is so awesome. Bats have inhabited Mammoth Cave for millions of years. What? I didn't know bats were millions of years old. Yeah. How? What? How? What do you mean how? Like, are they dinosaurs? No. When were dinosaurs here? Hundreds of millions. Oh, okay. It's crazy. Her daughter thinks it's cool that bats are in our attic. I thought it was cool at first, but now it's not so cool. So, I mean, I was, I was right there with her in the beginning. She also drew us a picture. So this is from Emma. She's six years old and she drew us like a fun little flower picture. Check it out. Thanks, Emma. It's beautiful. I'll put it on the fridge tonight. So they were at a creek and they picked up some rocks that are geodes for us to put in the rock garden. Check this out. Wait, they just found these in a creek? Yeah. That's amazing. I know, I, I thought you had to buy these in gift shops. Right? <laughs> this one's like really amazing. Yeah. Look at that. So this one is still attached to another rock and not broken open. Thought that was kind of cool. I think that's pretty cool too. And they have two dogs, Pixie, who is a toy fox terrier, and it's just like Bean when it comes to storms. Oh, that's the worst, because it's been really rainy here lately, and Bandit has not been a huge fan of the weather. And Coco, who is a black and tan wiener dog, yay! Thank you for all the super nice stuff you said in your letter, that's awesome. She said, hopefully I'll run into you guys at Halloween Horror Nights this year, and maybe we can go in a house together. And we'll definitely go in a house. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Thank you so much, Angela, Megan, and Emma. This is great, I can't wait to put our rocks in the rock garden. Thank you so much. This one's from Molly. She has married to her husband, James, 
and they have three kids, Riley, Jaden, and Sophie. They also have a fur baby named Ariana, and they oh. call her uh, a cuddly wannabe lap dog. Wait, what kind of dog is she? The reason she says she's a wannabe lap dog is because she's a 115 pound St. Bernard. So this is Molly and Ariana, and look at that. Oh, she's a big dog. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They got married um, back in 2011, they didn't take their kids on their honeymoon, but instead they took them to the Wisconsin Dells. They live in an area of Illinois called the Quad Cities, which by the way, right? Quad City DJs? Yeah. She picked up a few things for us, and then this is the John Deere Commons. So she also sent us some Bogey's mustard. Unfortunately, even though you did an amazing job of wrapping this, it opened oh in no. shipping. I want, it probably was just the pressure of the yeah. plane. And even though that mustard opened already, I'm gonna pop it in the refrigerator and I'm gonna eat some. He said, because I felt gypped when I did some of the Harry Potter jelly beans and I didn't get any bad flavors, they sent us some Jelly Belly bean boozled ones. Let's listen to some of these flavors. They've got two different matching ones. So if you pull out one that looks like Tutti Frutti, you might be eating stinky socks. Lime, you might be eating lawn clippings. Chocolate pudding, you might be eating canned dog food. Peach, you might be eating barf. Oh. Buttered popcorn is rotten egg. Caramel corn is moldy cheese. Hair juice is booger. Coconut is baby wipes. Licorice is skunk spray. <gasps> oh no. I am not looking forward to eating those. <laughs> she hopes to run into us in Orlando sometime soon. Awesome, thank you very much, Molly. And she sent us a picture of uh, Riley and Sophie. Sent us the 2004 Quad City DJ's activity <laughs> guide. All kinds of neat exhibits that are at the uh, Putnam Museum, which I'm kind of excited for the Hall of Mammals. Hall of Mammals. Thank you very much, Molly. This is all so amazing. So we got two really cool boxes from Karen and Andrew. They said they're sorry to hear that the chocolate um, that they sent had melted. I blame it on the hot Floridian weather. I do too. I also blame it on that. <laughs> it's okay, we'll eat it even if it's melted. They are a couple of miles from the London Heathrow Airport and they're also near the Windsor Castle. We're lucky that we have a, quite of a lot of attractions around us, Thorpe Park, Legoland, and Chessington. I wanna go to Thorpe Park and Alton Towers and Legoland. Like we wanted to do that when we were over there, but it was the end of February. And I didn't realize that your theme parks close in the winter time, which makes sense because you guys have like harsher winters than we do but um, we were so sad that we didn't get to go to any of the theme parks. We planned the trip like at the total wrong time, but we still had an awesome time though. When your country had the bombings in Oklahoma City, William, her middle son, who was 12 at the time, wrote to the city expressing his disbelief and horror at what had happened and sent a card that he had drawn to the children that had been hurt. Within months, he received a letter from the mayor asking that William come to Oklahoma and meet with all the locals. That's so cool. He was invited to meet President Clinton. Wow, and Hillary. That's amazing. A book was published containing all the letters and cards that children from all over the world had sent. We've proudly kept all the local newspaper cuttings and of course the book and our most precious item, a letter to William from President Clinton, thanking him for his thoughtfulness. So you can understand from this, lifelong friendships were sealed and we still keep in contact with people from Oklahoma. Oh my gosh. William is now 28, but he still remembers the sad but wonderful two weeks spent in the company of some very lovely people. I have goosebumps just like reading that. Wow. We watch all your vlogs as it brings Florida into our lives every day and you two are so good together. And what comes across from your lives is the sense of fun and love that you both have together. It must be so difficult knowing what to show us every day and it must be time consuming. Well, it is time consuming, but at the same time, it's not. It's almost like we're not doing it if that makes sense like we're vlogging all the time but it's so like natural for us at this point because we've been doing it for five years that it almost feels like we're not vlogging i don't know if that makes sense or not but it says you've started something that we all now look forward to daily late in the evening or early in the morning the cry of tim trackers up <laughs> and we eagerly eagerly watch the latest installment of your life that's so cool all i can say is keep going it makes us happy you can almost feel the heat and humidity and not and not forgetting those storms. We've experienced quite a few in the 25 or more years that we've been vacationing in your state. They can't wait to fly to Florida. Hopefully it'll be in 2015. So enjoy the contents of these boxes. They're already assembling another box. Oh my gosh, you guys don't have to do that. <laughs> so they sent a picture of their family. There's Andrew, their son, William, their son. There's Karen. There's Susan, her sister. There's Philip, the nephew. And then there's Dave. Oh, this is their beautiful pooch, Poppy. 
She's four years old and she's a dog de Bordeaux. This is the same breed of dog that was in Turner and Hooch. Yeah, the puppy dog. She's so cute. And now here's the box of, I mean, this is just like a ton of candy. So there's Kinder Bueno bars, Cadbury Boost, Spanish smoked paprika chicken. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, it's like a like an already done marinade. Yay, we got another one with the jellies and popping candy. <laughs> uh, we also got some Mad Frog summer fruit flavored Twix mix. Some more Peri Peri stuff. I love Nando's. Cadbury Twirl and also a Cadbury Crunchy. But not to mention <laughs> the second box that has more Cadbury Dairy Milk, some Apple Crisp. They sent us the, this is like the healthiest thing. Some Peri Peri Medium, some teas, a Jamaican jerk chicken spices, snowballs, a bat chip clip, the terribly British postcard. Oh, these are all the different like stops on the on the, the tube. That's pretty neat. Yeah, a mustache cookie cutter, a topic. Ooh, that looks good. I thought this was gonna be like a fruit bar at first, but it's not. Yeah, mustaches for your straws. That's pretty awesome. Thank you so much, Karen and Andrew. This is awesome. Also, um, I didn't read this, but oh, they're expecting their first grandchild. Congratulations, that's so awesome. Thank you guys so much. This letter is from Annie Oro on YouTube. She just thought that she would send us something special that would inspire us to visit Texas. But she didn't say us, she said y'all, because ah. it's like Texas. She has two dogs, one named Bowie and the other one named Holly Berry. She's also including some special goodies made by Susie's South 40. This is actually really funny. So this is Texas trash and this one's called Talkin' Trash. When we went to the doctor's office last, I was out in the lobby watching the Food Network and they did an unwrapped on this very Texas trash. Like this lady, Susie's Texas trash. And I thought that was really amazing that you just happened to send this stuff to us. So I'm excited to try this. And then crispy, cool margaritas, key lime cookies, Ooh. which look delicious. Yeah. She used to live in San Antonio, which is the home of the Alamo. And there is a great water park there called Slitterbon. She also lives near the Marfa lights, which are one of the great unsolved mysteries. I guess there's like lights that show up in the sky that nobody knows where they're from. And she says that it even drew the interest of Dan Aykroyd. Really? So I guess Dan Aykroyd went out there and visited the Marfa Lights. And nobody knows where they're from? Yeah. Really? I, I mean, I don't know where they're from. I'm gonna Google it. Yeah. But she says that they also have sand hills that when she was little, they used to go out and like go sliding down the giant sand hills, which sounds really fun. She like splits it up into the different seasons and has different places that we can visit during the different seasons. Like uh, in summer, we need to do Schlitterbahn and the Alamo. And then in winter we do the river walk for Christmas and it's because it's romantic. Oh. The Prada exhibit in yeah. spring and fall in the Marfa lights. And she says the Prada exhibit, which brought Beyonce to Marfa. Oh, nice. She says, go to Corpus Christi for nice beaches. Oh, and then she gives us all kinds of different foods to try from Texas. She said, if we ever head to Texas, we also need to go to Roswell, New Mexico. And then she ends the letter with, if you are into X-Files like me, the truth is out there. Yeah, we love X-Files. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much, Annie. And she also sent us all kinds of fun, like maps and travel guides and books about Midland, Texas and different events and all kinds of other fun stuff for us to look at. This trash smells delicious. <laughs> Ooh. Isn't that like the most amazing thing yeah. you've ever put in your mouth? <laughs> And the next box is from Sila. Hey guys, my name is Sila. I am from Washington State. She's 22 years old. Her mom, Shannon, is originally from California, so they visit every summer. And of course, they go to Disneyland every year. So basically, I've been to Disneyland every year of her life. Every year of her life. This is actually how I discovered your videos. She was getting herself pumped for vacation on YouTube when she saw the mustache in her suggested videos. I came for the mustache and stayed for the awesome videos. <laughs> I like that. I think that's our new tagline. That's pretty good. She works as a nanny and she has a lot of downtime during naps. So it's nice to know I will always have one of your videos to watch. Keep making awesome videos and say hi to the pups for me. Sila says hi pups. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so she sent us some really fun stuff. The first thing in the box that I see are these Tim's chips. She got them because they're called Tim's, of course, but also because their factory is in her hometown. So some sour cream and onion Tim's chips. She also sent some dark, is it dark roca? I think so. Okay. Um, Almond roca is also from Washington. 
Oh, this sounds so good. It has toffee and almonds and dark chocolate. And she also sent some fun little shot glasses. This one is Bigfoot Country. Look oh. at this little Sasquatch butt. <laughs> <laughs> and a Seattle Seahawks shot glass as well. Some Seattle postcards, Mount Rainier. There's Seattle. Wow, Seattle is like a lot more, there are many more buildings than I thought there were. That's pretty nuts. It kind of looks like New York, doesn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? That's pretty crazy. That's cute, I like that. Seattle. There you go, there's the actual city skyline. I think we got some stuff from Disneyland. Uh, we have a Disneyland resort magnet. Yeah. It's pretty fun. We have a Disneyland guide map. There's a list of all of the show times and everything. And then here is a really cool postcard. Check out this postcard. It has everybody in it. Yeah, I it love does. it. That's pretty cool. Wow, thank you so much, Sila. This is great. Thank you. This next one is from Nick, Claire, and Sophie. This one's from Nick, Claire, and Sophia from uh, the UK. They hope that we don't have one of these already because they said that it was too big for their pool, so they sent us like a volleyball oh, net for the pool. Look at it. That's awesome. We were looking at one of these and we didn't buy it. This is awesome. Oh man, that's so fun. I can't wait. We're gonna have to have a pool party just for this stuff. Yeah, they were searching Halloween Horror Nights and then a few months later they were looking at Disney and they watched Another vlog with the same bearded, moustached man and the hot blonde. That's what oh. they said. And they've been watching ever since. They plan on coming in 2017 for a whole month because three weeks was just not enough for them. I wish and we could take a month long vacation. Right? You guys are and so lucky. By that time, Sophia will be five, so it'll be much more enjoyable for her. Oh. Yeah, and they're thinking of buying here in Orlando, and they wanted to know if I have any advice on areas. Buying like a house? Yeah. Oh. I don't, I mean, it depends on if you want to be close to the parks. There's like a lot of factors to buying a house in Orlando. Well, especially because you have a young child too. You'd want to look at the schools and stuff. They included a local newspaper. So they sent us a rock for the garden, which oh. this rock is really cool because it's like super smooth. Oh yeah, look it at like it. Looks like a worry stone or something. Yeah. They sent us because of the bats. Oh, the that's Batman funny. Shirt. You're Batman. Yeah. This is a pretty awesome shirt. Too. <laughs> that is a really nice shirt. Some puppy snacks. Oh, yum. Oh, they're called, they're from Orlando. Yeah. That's cool. A magnet says, I love those 17 seconds when all the laundry is caught up. <laughs> yeah, right. And they sent a picture of themselves. Oh, that's a really good picture. Look at you guys. And there's. Very cute. Aw. Thank you very much, Nick, Claire, and Sophia. The next box is from Sam and Jamie, all the way from the UK. They're both 28 years young. They've been together for nine years. That's awesome. Congratulations, you guys. That's really great. She lives in the southeast of England, near the coast, and he lives in East Sussex, near the coast. And because they actually live apart, they get to see each other on the weekends, but their holidays are the time that they really treasure. Eventually, they plan to get their own place, when and where is a mystery. Their dream is to move to Florida. She's a dental nurse and radiographer, and he is a car and motorcycle mechanic. And his passion is American cars. That's pretty cool. He's currently rebuilding a 1969 Mercury Cougar XR7. Fancy. Yeah. They both love country music. They went to the Country to Country Festival. They've been watching our YouTube videos for a few years, and they love them. They're actually going to be here for three weeks. That is awesome. They arrive in Florida at the end of August, and the first week they're gonna go to Pensacola because Jamie really wants to visit the National Naval Aviation Museum, and they have the Blue Angels there, and they do practice flight displays on Wednesdays, and they are the American version of the British Red Arrows. And then the other two weeks, they're gonna be, oh, they're gonna visit all the parks. They're gonna do Disney Universal, Busch Gardens, Discovery Cove, all the water parks. You guys are gonna be so tired. <laughs> that sounds like an awesome trip though. So thanks again for all the videos and they always cheer them up, especially if it's been a busy day at work. Thank you so much, that's such a nice letter. That's really cool, thank you. And they also sent us some like candy, <laughs> lots of candy, oh my gosh, so much candy. We're never gonna need any more candy ever. <laughs> this is crazy. So we have Oreo bar, the jelly candies and the popping um, like pop rocks. Dairy milk, galaxy cookie crumble, and then another cola pretzel honeycomb bar. Yay! Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And then we got a rubber ducky, and we think that this is a red arrow a rubber ducky, we're guessing. Pretty cool. Some shells, look at this shell. It's like a lampshade. 
And then we also got this one has like holes in it. Look at it. I like that hole in it. It's crazy. And some more Nando's. Thank you guys so much. She also sent some postcards to historic Canterbury, the Canterbury Cathedral. That's beautiful. And then here's another one of the Canterbury Cathedral. And last but not least, they mailed us a mustache pillow. Check this out. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Sam and Jamie. Lastly, we got another mystery box from New York filled with Trader Joe's stuff. Holy cow. Just like saltwater taffy, sun-dried tomatoes, far farfalli, dried cranberries, pumpkin bread mix, cornbread stuffing mix, a mug from the Ugly Mug Diner, Ooh. Bengal spice tea, a lemon pepper season grinder, some milk chocolate macadamia nut oh, lace no. cookies. Oh no. All butter shortbread cookies with chocolate filling. Oh gosh, because those other ones were so good. Way more chocolate chip cookies. Oh no. Uh, oh my gosh, those look amazing. And they're just like all chocolate. Pin, pinot. What does that say? Panachios? Panachios? I'm like bad at Why are, are they not pistachios? It is pistachio. Oh. I don't know. Okay. Um, these look amazing. Peanutters, peanut butter cookies, and then lemon crisp cookies, which oh, have wow. chocolate all over them. Ooh. A dark chocolate with almonds. Oh, bar, yum. A pound plus bar. <laughs> oh, my God. Another pound plus bar. <laughs> and then they also sent us a thing from Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, like so. The 2014 City Guide. I feel like. Are you the same person that mailed us the, the Season of the Witch one? You must be the same person, don't you think? Well, no, it's the same person that mailed us the other Trader Joe's package. I know, but I think it's also the same person that mailed us the Season of the Witch thing. Oh, yeah, because they Cause did Because that's from Salem, too. Because yeah. that, it didn't say anything. It just said the Season of the Witch is approaching. And it was like, mwah ha 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 ha. So I think that... Maybe. I think it's the same person, but we won't. We we don't know. And then they sent us a blank postcard from Salem, Massachusetts. That's really cute. And it says, "Flying off the handle," and it's a little magnet from Salem, Massachusetts. That's really funny. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you, whoever you are. Yeah, but one day, if you want to tell us who you are, that would also be cool. <laughs> I don't know. You don't have to, but it's so crazy. Oh, look at everything. Everything that the light touches is yours. All of this. Yes. <laughs> Na, Savannah.